Today our focus is going to be on sampling and populations, two different statistical terms that we'll learn about and learn how to use them in order to make inferences about data. To help you understand what these two terms are, we're going to start with an example. Let's say the United States wanted to find out the average height of women in the U.S. Now, as you might think, this is a very, very difficult task to take on. There are 300 million people roughly in the U.S. If half of them are women, then there are 150 million women in the U.S. To measure each one's height is impossible. The population is going to be constantly changing between people being born, moving, people passing away, everything like that. The population will change consistently, all right, or constantly. Now, here is the whole population or entire, entire data set of U.S. women. There's 150 million of them. If I want to find out the average height without trying to measure each woman's height, I would simply have to take what we call a sample. I might take 10 or 20 or 100 or 100,000 or 1,000 women's height and use that data or my sample data to predict the average height of all U.S. women. Okay? So let's say I get a sample data set that says I have women who are women who's five feet tall, other who's five and a quarter, other who's five and a half, other who's five and a half, one who's six, other who's five, and one who's five point seven five, and then another two that are five and a half, and one more that is five. Okay. So I have taken the height of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 women. This is my sample. I'm going to use this data to predict the average height of all U.S. women. So I'm going to find its mean and its median and use that as a measure of center for all U.S. women. So let's first find out the mean. If I add these all up, I have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 51, plus my decimals, which would be 52, 53, 54. So I have 54 feet divided by 10 would give me an average of 5.4 feet is my mean. Now if I list them from least to greatest, my smallest is five, so there's two of them there, three, so there's three of them that are five feet tall, four, and then my tallest is six, five and a half. So my mean right in the middle is going to be 5.5, my medium is 5.5 feet. Okay. Based on these results, I would predict the average height of U.S. women to be somewhere around five and a half feet, maybe 5.45 feet if I wanted to split the difference between my median and my mean. And because I used a sample of that population, I'm able to predict the overall population's height without wasting my time measuring the height of 150 million people. As you might guess, this method has some limitations. Anytime you use the word prediction, it's not going to be perfect. 
there are certain things we can do to help make our predictions better, to make them smarter. Okay. One thing you might guess, a larger sample equals a better sample. Okay. The more data you have, the more likely it is to be a better representation of the overall population. Another thing, your san sample has to be has to be random. Okay? If I went and picked the 10 members of the US women's basketball team, that would be much higher than the average US American, okay? I need to randomly select women from different age groups and different heights and not just people that are all on a college campus or people on a basketball team, but in order for my data to be best, it needs to be random, okay? You can't just let your brain influence your decision. You close your eyes and you randomly pick the words in the book that you want to sample. Something like that makes your data much better. Smaller chance of it being skewed, okay? You do not want your data to be skewed because then it's not proper statistics. The important things to remember are that the population is the entire data set. And it's not likely and not practical for us to measure every population. What we do in statistics is take random samples of that data, of the population, and use the samples to analyze the data. We make box and whiskers, we calculate the mean, median, mode range, make histograms, whatever, of the sample rather than the entire population. This makes the data much easier to handle and much easier for us to analyze. Once we have our sample data analyzed, we used it to make predictions about the overall population. Understanding that, of course, no prediction is ever going to be perfect. All right? Soon you will be taking samples of data in your classroom or data based on tables that are presented in your PowerPoints, and you're going to take samples of it and use it to make inferences or make predictions about that overall population. Good luck.